The Story of the Red Whiskered Bulbuls On May 27th, Grandma was reading the newspaper in the drawing room. All was quiet and tranquil. But not for long. The silence was broken by a cacophony of sounds, flapping, fluttering wings, loud whistles and talking. She peeped out the window. To her surprise, all this noise was being made by two little birds sitting on the Christmas tree near the garage. So she stood at the window and watched, trying to guess what their interest in the tree could be. They pecked at different branches. Did they find something interesting to eat? One flew to a higher branch and did some pecking. They chatted away to each other and then settled on one branch together. Ah, thought Grandma, they're looking for a place to build a nest. They flew into and away from the tree noisily a number of times through the day. Finally, at about 5 p.m., they placed two pieces of weed to mark the selected spot. May 28th. The builders began work on the nest in quite earnest. Strange. The work was being done by only one bird. Was it male or female? Grandma did some research on Google and found out that these were red-whiskered bulbuls and that the couple shared all the work, including the incubation of the eggs. By the end of the day, there was some semblance of a nest. A few heart-shaped leaves formed the base and cup, woven together with weeds, grass, and a little leftover cotton from the Christmas decorations. May 29th. Work on the nest was progressing very well. May 30th and 31st. There were some new sounds. Kachar, kachar. The birds were scratching the inside of the nest. Were they trying to smoothen it out? They were also doing a little jumping and hopping in the nest. Wow! Checking for strength. June 1st. Mrs. Bilbil flew in early and sat quietly in the nest. She flew away about an hour or two later. Grandma peeped into the nest and found one beautiful pink egg, profusely mottled with red spots. That night, there was a thunderstorm. The nest and egg survived the pouring rain. June 2nd, was it going to be only one egg? June 3rd, Mrs. Bilbil must have come in very early, and to our joy, there was another beautiful egg, a little smaller than the first one. It would be interesting to know whether it hurts to lay the eggs, as the bird is quite small to have quite large eggs. Now the incubation period commenced, which the pair took very seriously. A couple of whistles and they would exchange paces. And for the humans, this was waiting time. June 15th, exactly 14 days after the first egg was laid. There, lying in the nest, was one little fledgling. A wonder, yet quite ugly. June 16th. The cutest sight was to see the fledgling with its little wing on the other egg in a sort of caring gesture. June 17. Waited in anticipation for the next little birdie, but nothing happened. Did I say nothing happened? At about 10 p.m., there were some sounds from near the garage. Grandma rushed to the window and saw a cat walking away. June 18. As soon as it was daylight, Grandma and Grandpa peeked out of the window, hoping against hope that the cat had tried in vain. But now, the familiar sight of the nest was missing, empty, mangled, destroyed, and lying forlornly on the ground. The web of life has to continue.